Hello everyone, Satorn here giving a breakdown of different interest groups in Vicky 3. In this video, we're going to focus on the trade union's interest group playing as Mexico and try to get to 20% clout as fast as possible. So let's get into it. So we need to get the cloud up for the trade unions is at 0.5% right now. So the first thing I would look at is population machinists ends up being the largest group or professions that join this interest group. So what we want to do is build buildings that are going to help out with that. And that's pretty much anything that's not agriculture. Um, all the mines, even tool workshops going to pig iron tools here will give us machinists. So we want to wherever we can employ machinists as much as possible. Um, so then that way they will join that interest group, but they won't join this interest group until we have we have to do some law changing here. We want to get some voting going in. Uh, we definitely want census suffrage if we get down to here. If not, some of the other voting may work, uh, but we do want to do that. And then we need a technology. And if you don't get this, this is really the key thing. Um, the fastest way and actually the only way to really get uh you know the the trade unions going is you have to get labor movement technology what this does you can see here unlocks the laborist party and then once this is done um all the machinists will join this a lot of laborers will join this and then all of a sudden on um, the cloud will go up so this is what's going to be the win button for us a few things I'm not planning to do is I'm not planning to actually bolster uh, or suppress any of the groups right away. It's going to take a long time until uh, we get enough machinists as well as the technology to actually get this increased. So I think it would be a waste of authority at the time. Um, also, budget is not going to help us that much. Changing things around, uh, like lowering the government or the military wages, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Uh, may play around with it a little bit, and I'll let you guys know if it helps. Uh, here you can see you know, the armed forces, they do have an increase for a little while here. Um, they have a special event and things like that. But uh, I th we're going to leave them again the way that they are. Uh, we may have to increase armed forces a little bit because uh, the U.S. is going to be right on our tail. Or maybe I'll just make a friend with Great Britain or something like that uh, to keep us a little bit more protected. But overall, uh, the biggest thing is going to be working on the economy, like I said, and getting as many machinists as possible, getting those laws in place as well as the technology. So let's get, get to it. All right, so we got the rural folk as well as the intelligentsia in the government, and we were able to pass census suffrage, so this is great. This is what we wanted to do is get voting going uh, rather early, So, and this is exactly what we wanted in the trade unions like this. This is going to work out really well. Labor movement has been unlocked, so now we will have the laborist party. We don't have a lot of machinists, so let's see, though. Uh, right now we're at a 1% still for the trade unions and we're now bolstering. So let's see how much this will increase or if it will. So the next text I picked up to try to get as many machinists as possible is I made sure I got railways. Definitely atmospheric engines help a lot. And then also mechanized workshops is another good one. Canneries is okay. Uh, but these are definitely helping increase our amount of machinists. We're getting there. Uh, we're at 3.6%. But yeah, it's just really, really hard early on. 1859 a new party formed so the free trade party became available i don't know if that means real soon that the laborists or there's like this is related to time i'm not 100 percent sure if you know put it down in the comments below we hit 10 percent for the trade unions and we just passed regulatory bodies just to make them a little bit happier see if this will uh help increase more and more people to join this has been tough uh definitely the time 1862 I think there's something a little bit time locked in this. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. 1864, the first campaign that it looks like we're projected to win, at least the Liberal Party, the trade union is a part of it. They still haven't formed the Laborist Party. So we kind of join this one and see what's going to happen. So maybe uh, once we get this and we win, uh, definitely, I think the trade unions will go up. I don't know if we're going to hit 20%, though. We're at 11 right now. So a new party formed, the industrials turned into the free trade party and the armed forces and trade unions together became the Mexican liberal party and I lost a whole bunch of clout. I'm not sure how this works. I'm trying to figure it out. If you guys have any more information, put it down in the comments below. This is, this is very uh, interesting to me. We did it. This is one of the hardest challenges with the interest groups for sure. Uh, finally, 1872 was able to get 20% clout with the trade unions and the Mexican liberal party. I did do two runs for this, so I just wanted to show you the results of this one. is 1873, so it was actually a little bit later. Uh, I had to wait for the Labor's Party to pop. Once it did, I got to 24%. So I think this is a little bit time-gated. It's pretty tough uh, to get any sooner than this. Uh, so, But let's go through the previous run real quick, and we'll do a recap. 
I watched real closely the laws as they passed to see if it made a big difference on clout for the trade unions, and it didn't. I didn't expect it to. I didn't really do that for the other interest groups as well. I did property to women. I did regulatory bodies, interventions, and protectionism. So you can see all the ones that really you know the trade unions like, um, but it really didn't make that much of a difference. It would pop up maybe a little bit, the clout, and then it would go down. Um, but I think the one that really would have made the difference is census suffrage. I held on to this for quite a while, and maybe I shouldn't have, or I, it would have been really hard to get universal suffrage anyways until I got the trade unions in the government. Uh, but here you can see there's a plus 15 wealth threshold, and I think that was holding things back for the voting. Because uh, even over here, my average is just 15.5, and I really focused on this, trying to keep the standard of living uh, definitely really good for the lower strata. Because if we go to our trade unions, right, the majority of people that are in this um, are laborers, which are lower strata, 100,000. Uh, the same thing goes for machinists. We have a, a close to 50,000 here, and again, that's lower strata as well. So I was trying to, you know, look at the budget, make sure I wasn't taxing them, no consumption taxes. I kept military wages low to keep that group a little bit weak as well, and government wages. I probably could have reduced this for the intelligentsia. I also built my whole economy around machinists, really. Um, I made sure, you know, I was doing food industries because they hire machinists. Uh, same thing for textile mills. I rushed technology to make sure we had sewing machines. Same thing for mechanized workshops. Uh, tool workshops was was really good. You see I have 12 there. I was pushing steel mills, the motor industry for, for uh, railroads I was doing as well. Ship industries, once we switched over to steamers, that made a big impact. Uh, even a little bit of the arms industry is not bad. Uh, you do get some machinists out of this as well. But you do get shopkeepers, which kind of hurt a little bit. Um, so yeah, definitely for the urban and rural and I went nuts on uh, coal, which you normally do right in a run. So, uh, you know, a lot of coal mines, a lot of iron mines. Uh, we're lucky to have some gold mines in Mexico. So yeah, overall, I just, wherever I could got as many machinists as possible. We could have went down here and gotten even more, uh, cause that just unlocked with the technology that I got. So, and speaking of tech, definitely, uh, the things to really look out for, which I thought was going to make more of a difference. It did in my other run, um, is really the labor movement, uh, technology here. So, uh, the labor's party pops, uh, and it looks like it's random, um, or there's something that triggers it. So if this doesn't happen, uh, then it was a little, it was a little bit harder for me to kind of, kind of get them, um, you know, get the trade unions up, uh, their clout to 20%, but the, you know, the laborers party, uh, this does help. And so I, I did, I focused on that actually first right away. Then all the production stuff, I, you know, made sure, like I showed you, uh, for, you know, the lace, the mechanical tools, atmospheric engine. So anything that was going to get me more machinists, I really focused on. If you like this type of content, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. They're free. And as always, for the swarm.